Hello everybody and welcome to another video about Python developer job interview question. This is the number three question and our eighth example. Every day we have new example and we upload it. Let's take a look at the problem we are working on. What we are doing, we are doing alphabetic telephone number translator. We know recently that phone numbers are getting like alphabetical a little bit like we have phone number as 555 dash get food we want to translate this to number so what uh, that's what we are doing today as always I have my VS code environment open let's first save my file go right here Example 8, every day one example, sometime two. Okay, so let's write the, the question we are going to solve, uh, the, the problem. The problem is this, we are um, having a phone number, number which is like 555, get food get food for capital and then we want it to translate it to the number which is 555 oh, Okay, let's begin. We have a function of phone number phone number and then the okay, first thing we're gonna do is to split our number by phone number split by dash and then oh. so the first one is area code then we have area code which is num zero this is num in fact this is a list of uh, three elements this one this one and this one this is area code and the uh, num I could it num and the actual number gonna be num num till end and I want a number which is an empty string. I'm gonna like add to that what we did. For n in num end, num end. So I'm saying for this two, it's gonna go first to this, and then comes on this. It's gonna be two. Look for this one. I'm doing it in a basic way, so easy to understand, but you can do this by uh, dictionary style and maybe more professional uh, in range links of n you know links of n this in here so I'm gonna 
in the second loop, I'm going to go over this one first and then the second one. All right. I'm saying if n if n i in a b c okay if it's in a b c then uh, put number equal to number plus two so we're going to repeat this for rest of the uh, code you can do as i said as a dictionary but this is like more understandable for the beginners so i'm just copying this copy and you do elif c ef three elif GHI four LF JK L five LF JK L and then M and O six. Let's copy this. So shift alt is gonna be copying what you select. Seven eight nine. So after M and O P Q R S P Q R S, which is seven, and then. TUV, TUV, which is eight, and then maybe it's one, uh, which is nine, the other one was eight. So I think, let's take a look. I think that's good, right? And then We, we want it right here. We want our number be number plus dash. So we got dash two. What I did, you know, for first round, when we collect what we need from here, then we want one dash here. So I added this dash. Then return area code plus dash plus number. I remember I want this number not to get rid of the one dash at the end you know i got one dash here but it's automatically adding one more here but i don't want it what i do i say till minus one so it's it exclude the last one so that's it so this is our number The string format and then oh, I have almost all of them here.
looks good so if I ran my program I should get this one this number let's see so five I got it yeah so let's try something else like hey Okay, if your number is this, 439 to 839 is like, hey buddy. Thank you very much for watching. That was it. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day. Bye-bye.